Hey. So, um, real quick, I got these brushes here from Refer, as you can tell. Very, it's my bedtime. I'm going to talk about them a little bit in depth, and then I'm going to do a look with them, demonstrating what they're capable of. And uh, if you want to see that, just keep on watching. Please don't look at my hair. Um, I really have no excuse for it to look like this, except for I've been sweating all day. Yeah, chicos. <laughs> These are the brushes from refer but this is their core collection all their brushes are crafted in kumano japan ew my nails are disgusting the core collection it's said to be five do-it-all brushes that you'll keep reaching for every single day i appreciate that so much every time somebody sees me use the same brushes for different techniques different uh products People are like, oh my god, I didn't even think to do that. And it's because you do not need a multitude of brushes. You don't need this arsenal of brushes just to do one part of the eye, the inner corner, the outer corner, the crease. The brushes are so versatile, so I really appreciate what they're trying to do here. Um, let me get back to the brushes. No, this is not sponsored. I, I just like talking about smaller brands, smaller brands that seem... Like they give a shit. If you have one of these little color switch sponges, I'm sure you'll be just fine using one brush for an entire eye look. I use this one for an entire eye look and for packing on color on my lid, well, we got these. Number one, here we have the first brush. It's probably shaped like this so you can blend, but you can also pack on product. Let me read the description for y'all. Um, on their website, it said it's a versatile eye brush for applying base color, crease work, general blending, nose highlight, nose contour, brow highlight, concealer, capable of doing an entire eye look on its own. Here is brush number two. It is shorter. It is more dense. I'm assuming this is also to pack on color. Brush number three. It is a teeny tiny detailing brush. What's the description say? Capable of maximum precision in the most delicate areas. Highlight inner V, define lower lash line, pinpoint concealing, smoky liner, the highest rated eye brush in our entire collection. Okay, this is brush number four. By the shape of it, I would I would assume it's for contouring or brush, brush, blush, brush, ah! Brush number four, what does it say? The ultimate contour, cheap brush, designed for precise and efficient contour, but also works wonderfully for blush, highlight, foundation, and a classic shape that's been reinvented with many talents. Ooh, I've been waiting to talk about this hog right here. Pinnacle of all face brushes, incredibly versatile and luxuriously soft. <gasps> Do you guys have that freckle? Now, I'm not gonna do foundation with any of these brushes today. As you can tell, I already have a base on. I think I'm gonna do a foundation demonstration with one of these brushes um, on my Instagram story because I'm not really into that. Let's, let's get started with these brushes. <sighs> oh my God, I look like a wreck. I might delay this. I might postpone this until tomorrow. But let me just show you guys this ridiculousness for Thanks so much, Too Faced. I really appreciate this. Oh my god. So they sent this. This is um it's an interesting device here. That, oh, okay. That that holds um one mascara. It holds one mascara. And um this is a mascara. Let's let's do a comparison. Let's do a comparison here. Yeah. Let's reduce the waist, y'all. So, I am postponing this video until tomorrow. <laughs> That's my ringtone. Okay, it's the next day and I'm back. Remember when I said I wasn't gonna use the brushes for foundation, like I would mess around with it, like on my Instagram story. Well, I did one half of my face. It applied uh, the number four brush. It applied my foundation very nicely. So 
so I'm gonna do that for you guys. I have, it's not cruelty free, I'm sorry, I've had this foundation, but the Milani Conceal Imperfect, it is cruelty free, but I also have it mixed with the NARS Sheer Glow because I'm just stepping outside for 10 minutes. It has completely changed my skin tone. Anyway, so I'm using the number four brush. I'm just dipping it in the back of my hand and I am going to target the product on those blemished areas and then work outward. So I'm not stippling on, I'm just buffing everything out. Um, now even though this does apply foundation really nicely, I I tend to, I'm probably going to lean towards, I'm probably not going to use this for foundation or concealer in the future. As much as I do like it, I just, um, I feel like natural hairs pick up more product, like they absorb more product and I, I like using synthetic brushes to apply my base oh and i've tried to use less product on my forehead now because that's where i'm most expressive on the forehead and once the foundation starts seeping into those lines my whole face will look like a mess the amount of foundation i use on my forehead is just to even out skin tone there aren't really any streaks or anything, so that's really nice. That's one of the problems I can I'll have like synthetic brushes if um if I pull or if I buff instead of stipple on. Um because I can be stippling on the whole time and then just one second I I don't even notice and there's a streak. But yeah, this is this is a really nice finish. So I also think I'm going to apply concealer with this brush. And I think I'm going to use this um, slimmer side right here, the pointed side. Okay, Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Valena. Vanilla. That's too much, but okay, go off. Then I'll cover these areas right here. I'm not really color correcting because um, I don't want so I'm just dabbing over the blemished areas. Oh, that's covered. That looks nice. It's blended into the other foundation really well. Okay, and this. And I'm just working really lightly. to you guys I applied my foundation pretty fucking nicely very well so that was the number four brush from refer um I'm going to do my brows really quick off camera and then that ABH eye primer that's what we're gonna try I'm not gonna set it. I see tons of people. I figured I would do a more colorful look. <laughs> it's nothing new. <laughs> I received these little palettes from Huda Beauty. Um, these got some backlash for not being neon, and um, they're not neon. Some of the shades are neon. But you'll see. This is Neon Orange Obsessions. That's neon. It has a mix of pastels and neon. Would I call it neon in its entirety? No, but I love it. It's a really colorful palette. Okay, let's move on to the next one. I'm going to be mixing shades from all of these. I know that's not ideal because each of these palettes are... I don't know how much 
This is the Neon Green Obsessions. Um, it is not neon in any sense. Like, this is pastel. Um, it's a little washed out on camera. This green is a little brighter. Neon. Yeah, a little, maybe. Possibly, on the eye. We'll see. I don't fucking know. These colors are really, really, really pretty. One neon in this one. It doesn't have the name on the palette. It has the name on the box. They just all say neon hood of beauty. Not a big deal. Um, this one is the neon pink obsessions and I'm ready for it. Can we just appreciate this lilac shade right here? Wow. It has pastels. It has this bright coral shade here, this bright purple, bright pink, and then all these shimmery ones. I used this one yesterday. It's amazing. So I'm going to use those. It's a primer creasing. It's a little tacky, but it's not creasing, which I'm not mad at. I'm going to go in with the number one brush from Riffer. It's purple shade right here, which I am a slut for. I like how this is tapered. This is so great to get in the crease. I'll show you guys in a little bit. So I have some shadow on the side and on the very tip of the brush. You can target it right here in the crease. And then you just pull up to blend. Sensational. Okay, to the orange obsessions now. I'm gonna use number two brush. It is more dense, so I'm gonna use it to pack on some color. I'm gonna mess with these two actually. I'm expecting a lot out of you, little orange shade. Now I'm using my little color switching sponge, dry makeup brush cream, and I'm just swirling it around. The color is still there because these are natural hair bristles, um, so it's going to stain. Okay, let's switch to another color. What are we going to do next? I'm going to take this bright coral right here. Ooh, ooh, and let's focus this. Started with a lighter color. I don't know what I expected. I'm gonna take this rosy color right here from the Green Obsessions palette and apply that around the edges of this. I'm gonna fill in my brown more because this is. So I have a number two brush again. I cleaned it off with a little color mix, uh, color switcher. And now I'm taking this yellow, and I am applying that yellow 
right at the one, two, three, four, three fourths of the way down my lid. Right after this orange, right before that pink coral. Whatever, guys, sue me, why don't you? Oh, this yellow is really nice. It did not, it, it did not swatch well at all. And I'm very happy with this now. It's it's a really warm yellow, and I have too many cool toned yellows, so I love this. And I'm just tapping the color on and pulling at the edges to blend it into the other shades. Next color. All right, now I'm going to take the pencil brush, the number three from Refer, and I'm going to take these two green shades together and hope for the fucking best. Oh my God. And I'm applying it right down here. I look sick. I look absolutely sick. And I love it. Alrighty, Rue. <laughs> Are you serious? There's no, I just realized there's no blue in any of these. You got a random ass pink one here. I get it. Okay. Green and pink do go well together. I'm not gonna lie. But come on. I really don't want to go into another palette. So I got a bunch of stuff from Fenty as well. Right, a bunch of stuff. I mean, a bunch of liners, a bunch of lipsticks. And they're very nice. Well, some of the liners are very nice. But oh, there's this blue one that is super, super nice. So I think I will use that for this look. I think I wanna go back into that purple again. And then I'll do some draped blush because I'm a slut for blush. And I will use this number five brush right here, which I'm, oh, it feels so good. I'm so ready to use it. Back to the number one brush. I'm going to take this lilac shade again. And then just apply it over here. Oh my God, I did not switch off the color, fuck. And I'm bringing just a teeny bit of that color into that coral shade that's in the outer V, outer corner, whatever. Same brush, and I'm going into this purple shade right here. The number five brush. And it's the yellow one, aha. Uh -huh. Ichi. Oh my God. And I think I'm gonna mix it with that peachy shade because I have peachy shades. I'm using the pink shade from the green. So is it really me if I don't apply it to my nose? Um, no. So I'm mixing these two together, same brush, and I'm just applying that to my nose. I should 
probably get some bronzer and apply it to my hairline. Actually, no, I don't care. Since I want this to be a cohesive, colorful look, I'm going to apply some to my hairline as well. I should probably have some yellow, right? Yeah. Michi? Oh my god. You scared me. You scared me! Let's do some chin blush. Why not, right? Is this the move? Maybe not, but we're, we're moving. I'm being honest here, we need more nose action. I just need some dick. Let me do my brows really quick. Brows done, yes. So I'm gonna work on highlighting now and I wanna use this little pencil brush for highlighting areas and since I have used every bit of the foundation on this brush that I could have and it is dried right now, I'm going to try and use the angled side right here to apply highlight. Yay! With those really shimmery metallic um, pressed shadows, I think it's best to use your finger. But for the sake of the brushes, I'm going to use the brush to apply it. I'm going to use this one and this one mix together. Okay, honestly, I didn't pick up that much product. And it's not the brush's fault. It's because it's metallic shade and the way it's pressed and how much moisture is in it. Oh, I'm just kidding. I picked up quite a bit of product. Um, I'm just gonna stick to this shade right here because it's so pretty. Wow, this color is so beautiful. It hurts. It hurts. Oh my god, let me try and zoom into it. Can you see that color? Oh my god. care how my brow looks today. Wow, I just don't want to stop applying this color. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Let's try this number four brush. Squeeze it in here. Is that number four? Yeah. Squeeze that in here. Oh, and when I look forward, there's no dark cast of shadow. I, I stand. I'm alien chic right now. This green? Oh my. Right here, right here, dog. I had to do it to him. I have this liner here from Fenty Beauty. I'm just gonna add that, do a quick wing. To add some blue in there. Let's go. Oh no, I'm gonna completely cover those colors. Oh well. to hit them with that graphic liner you know me quick uh review on the rihanna liners or on the fenty liners excuse me um this is the best one this this is the best liner in the whole collection there's a peachy shade that is comparable to this one and like quality wise the way it stays and applies everything else it's a little more work. I'm gonna use these lashes from Blue Face Makeup. I'm going to apply one of my favorite glosses ever. This is the Wet Cherry Gloss from Lime Crime, and it's the shade Cherry Crush. And it appears very orange in the tube, but it gives your lips the nicest 
orange tint. So guys, that is the look. Um, I don't like the way these lashes are sitting on my eyes, but they're here now. As for these brushes from Refer, core collection here, um, they are beautiful quality brushes. Each individual brush is meticulously crafted. They put a lot of work into these. Um, they're coming into stores in December, and I believe you'll be able to order them around that time as well. Um, and they do retail for $168. They are quality brushes. If you want to splurge on yourself, you want to splurge for your clients, this would be a great investment. Especially, I think this would be a great gift to yourself. Uh, someone like me, this would work great because I, I think people will leave. I have hundreds of brushes here when really um, I have a bunch of tiny paint brushes and um, I would say I have about 15 base brushes. Um, for somebody like me, I try to get the most out of each of my products and I love versatility. If you want quality products, if you take care of them, they're gonna last you forever. This is a cheap little brush from, from Amazon. And I've had it for about five years because I take care of my brushes very well. So if you wanna make the investment, which I think would be great, um, these brushes will last you a very very long time i probably won't get all the information right so i'm gonna link it below i'm gonna link the website below so this is a new company nothing has hit the shelves yet um you can order in december and you'll get the price of 168 dollars but if you order today you can get 40 percent off the core collection no this isn't sponsored but this is a beautiful product or these are beautiful products um beautiful tools and why not? I just really would like to support a smaller business that puts a lot of care and time into their product. So that's why I'm talking about it so much. Um, but yeah, if you order it today, you can get the core collection for $99. Again, that's a lot of money, but it is an investment and it'll last you a long time if you take care of the brushes, of course. And um, that's all I gotta say. I will link everything about Refer down below so you guys can read for yourself because it, I have everything in my mind, but the execution is so hard for me. It is, I, I just don't want anything to be misconstrued. So I would rather you guys go check it out for yourself. As you can tell, my face looks great oh my god that was a little too cocky i think i'm mostly impressed with the application of foundation of the number four brush because i've applied foundation with where is it this brush right here and that's why it's only a blush brush now i've applied foundation with this one right here this is from morphe this is the m gaga brush and um Similarities in color and shape, yes, but this in application. As for the Huda palettes, um, I really fucking like them. That's it, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any requests to do anything, let me know. Like comment subscribe i'm so glad i'm so glad you guys are still here like almost have 8,000 subscribers that's 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 a lot okay i'm never doing that again okay bye guys